today before you get started on making I want you to watch Box Wars Battle of the Boxes to get you inspired and excited about all of the great things you can do with cardboard okay um, so we're gonna we f first if we're going to make all those amazing things that they did in Battle of the Box Wars we're going to need to know how to join cardboard uh, in lots of different ways so here are, these are the ways that I would like you to focus on today if you can work out some other ways of joining cardboard you go for it um, but these these are a good place to start so this one here is called we're going to call this um, making feet on your cardboard and you can see why so I'll put feet okay so this one's got um, uh, a little cardboard feet either side, it's glued down onto there, it's nice and sturdy, it's not going anywhere, okay. This one here is great if you want to make um, a door or something that's hinged or something that needs to open us, it's, um, and we'll call these hinges, okay, so hinges, that's the second one I want you to make. This one here is some of you will have already made this at school, but it's called slotting. Now slotting is great because we actually don't need any glue to do that. So all you have to do is start with two pieces of card and put a cut in one and you have to put a cut in the other one and then you get the two cuts and slot them together. You do have to do a little bit of little bit of pushing and a little bit of adjusting, but that will come together really nicely to make this fantastic perpendicular join that doesn't need any any glue. Now, if you if you only put them together that far, they'll get loose and they'll come apart. Okay, you have to get them together so that this bit, the, the end of your slot and the end of your slot actually meet. Make sure you do that, otherwise you'll end up with really weak joints. So push them together as hard as you can. Yep. Slots. Okay, so it's slots. I've, I've done some slots here and I've actually put some feet on the bottom of my slot uh, to join them onto this card. The next one is to do is usually if you've got cylinders, they're hard to join onto things. So if I was going to get a cylinder and put wanted to join it onto here, it's going to be really hard if I just put a bit of glue around there and stick it on. You might think that's going to work, but it won't work for too long. So what we have to do is make a flange like this. Okay, now before you go ahead and make your your box wars creation okay i want you to do all of these joins on your own piece of card so i want you to start with a piece of card like this one okay and we're going to start with the oops i'm going to start with the flange okay now I could put some glue we're using PVA glue today this is fantastic it's all you need when you're working with paper or um, or cardboard it will glue and it will never come apart you can also use it for gluing wood okay and of course you can use anything to spread it I've got a nice old um, recycled plastic knife you can use toothpicks as well they're good for spreading things if you've got a small area okay to stick my cylinder on joining a cylinder I want to make a flange so I'm just making the same size cuts all the way around about a centimeter apart and carefully fold them out 
You should have some of these uh, toilet rolls around the home by now. Hopefully. Get rid of that a little bit. Now, if I stick that down on there, he's gonna be good. Now, glue, PVA glue. You don't need a heap. As you know, just a little, little scraping on there. If you put too much on, it takes too long to dry and you'll be there for a long time trying to get things to dry. So just a little smear on there, stick it down, give it a press, I usually count to 20. One, two, three, and 20. Okay, and there's my flange stuck down. Next one we're gonna do is the hinges. So I'm gonna give myself another, maybe I'll pretend this is a nice little door that I'm making for another little creation. Uh, maybe I'll make it an arched door. Maybe. Good. Okay, there's my door. I'm gonna make some hinges for it. So I need two strips. Cut. Two small strips. I'm gonna fold them to make my hinge, fold to make my hinge. Nice and easy. Once again, glue. Little bit of glue on there. Just like a hinge, if you look at the hinge from a real door, it's pretty much the same, the same concept as this. There's my two little hinges. I'm gonna stick it down. Counting to 20 again. Okay, now we're gonna make um, the feet. So, another piece of card. Of course, if I was going to join this onto there, I can't just put glue on there because that will make a really weak join and it will just fall off eventually. So, feet, and this time, it's a bit like hinges. Make sure you do at least two cuts in there. Instead of folding them all the same way, you could fold them all the same way and that will make, that you could actually make another hinge that way. We're gonna fold them opposite way. So one like that. Look a bit like missing teeth, don't they? Okay, so then my feet. So I've got feet on one side and one foot on the other side. Glue. Glue. Stick that down again. Count to 20. 20. Okay. Now let's make a slotted join. We'll start with two nice pieces of card. We'll make them out of this one. Okay. Remember you have to make a cut in both pieces. You can't just do a cut in one and expect them to join and stay together. Push them together. Sometimes a bit of a squeeze. Straighten them out. Okay, that one's been nice and tight there. So I've got the two ends of my slots joining together. Now if I want to stick this on here, I could make, ooh, that's, that's worked out quite nicely. I could make some little feet on the bottom there. So I can join it like that. Here's my slot, or I could have also done it up this way. And there's my slot at join. I'm just gonna tidy up the top of that. This better. Okay, that's my slot at join. I'm gonna join that together. I've used feet on the bottom of that to, so that I can stick it on there. Now this is what, I want you to build that before you build your 
Box Wars creation. So let's label those again. Other things you can do, I'll just show you a couple of other things you can do, which you might be able to use in your creation as well. You can use the corrugations inside your cardboard. You can use a toothpick and put a toothpick up through your cardboard and then you can use that make a cute little flag which also is movable. You can also use a needle and thread and once again go through the corrugations in the cardboard and use that to join them together. Maybe you want to make a little decoration to go across your sculpture. Maybe you want to make a cardboard necklace. Could be good too. Maybe we could make So I'll take that off there. If I was going to hang this onto here, a great way to do that, or the easiest way that I can see to do that is to go make a little cut in there and a little one in there. And I can stick my cotton through there and through there joins that up pretty nicely and hangs between the two. Okay, this is what you need to do. Next. Okay, so this is the beginning of my Box Wars helmet. And I've started with a kind of a box. Yep. And I've started making Face, sort of a face thing on the side there. Okay, um, I'm going to do the other side to show you what I've done. I want you to use, you have to use, I want you to try and use all of those different joins on your sculpture. So all of those joins, so a flange, hinge, slot, and the feet those feet joins as well. Maybe if you can't use all of them, try and use at least three. All right.
Okay. Or you could make this just using slots and no glue. If you have no glue and only cardboard, you can make a slotted sculpture like this one, which stands up very nicely. 